My name is Kengo Maimura, 25 years old. I'm working as a temporary worker for physical labor. Maimura, you're too slow in doing your work. Speed up. S sorry I don't think this job suits you. I've been assigned to this field for about half a year. Since I'm slow in doing my work, I always get scolded. One day, I was called by my supervisor during work. Mamura, come here. Y yes I thought that I was going to be scolded, so I was going there unwillingly. But I was told about something really nasty. You don't have to come here anymore tomorrow. What? Wh why all of the sudden? Our company is not in good financial condition recently, so... I was told by my boss to manage the workers starting from firing those who are not capable to work properly. The result is, you are one of them. I'm sorry. I didn't expect to get fired. I was clueless. It can't be true. C can you wait until next month? I haven't found my next job yet. Sorry, but that's impossible. It's your own fault, so you should just give up. You should stop troubling us. Ah. <sighs> I'm fired. This is not good at all. Recently, there isn't any job available due to the economic crisis. I'll let you know when it's available. I don't think that you'll contact me. I'm definitely jobless. I was searching for other job which is not temporary, but for a person who only graduated from junior high school, it's quite difficult. I won't be able to pay the rent next month if I don't do something. I can't contact my family because we broke off the relationship. 25 years old, I don't think I have any good memories. I believe that I won't have that from now on. I think my life is going to end here. Wait, I shouldn't be pessimistic. I still have today's salary which is 10,000 yen. I just have to stay overnight at the internet cafe and search for another temporary works. I only have 7,000 yen left. I feel anxious. <laughs> huh? I can't go home. What? What's happening? <laughs> Mommy! Daddy! When I turned around to where I heard the big voice, an elementary schoolgirl was crying as she crawled on the road. Maybe she got lost? <laughs> hey! Are you alright? Yikes! Oh, relax. I'm not a fishy person. Is he a suspicious person? Do you want me to call the police? Oh! This is bad. They'll misunderstand me. After explaining my circumstances, I decided to ask about what happened to the little girl. You dropped your wallet. Yes. That's why I can't go home. What about your parents? Aren't they with you? I'm alone. I was on my way home from cram school to home in Oba City, but I was too tired that I fell asleep. When I realized, I arrived at the city I'm not familiar with. <sighs> uh... Oh, where am I? What? I don't have my wallet. I went to the police station and asked, but it seems that no one has found my wallet. Have you called your parents? I dropped my smartphone along with my wallet. That's horrible. Uh, I can't go back home. I'm going to live here forever. Anyway, you can use this if you want to. Huh? Use it to pay for your taxi. I think it's enough to go back to home in Oba City. What? <laughs> but this is a large amount of money. Are you sure? It's only 7,000 yen. I can't just leave you here like that. As for your wallet, the police will let you know if they find it and... I think that your parents are worried sick about you so... You should go home quick. See you. Oh. Anyway. My name is Marin Ichinose. Could you tell me your name? I will show a token of my appreciation someday. I'm Kengo Maimura. You don't have to thank me. Excuse me. Could you please let her in? Sure. See you, Marin-chan. Oh, wait! I've handed her all of my assets. I have nothing at all. 
But I don't mind. I know what will happen to my life. Compared to me who have no future, I think she deserves to have that money. Moreover, somehow I feel relieved to have no money at all. I've bid farewell to the society and I should live freely. I made the decision as I looked into the night sky. But three years later, I'm hungry. There isn't any freedom here. Homeless life is harder than I expected and I'm always fighting with hunger. Ugh, damn, I missed that. You don't have good control. You should aim properly. Shut up. Hey, you can have this juice. Unfortunately, it's empty though. Ha 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 ha. You should throw garbage at the bin. Well, I think I'm the garbage. I ran away from the society and I'm just useless. Maybe I should write a board in which it's written. I'm a garbage. Ha <laughs> ha. I was bullying myself when I realized something. What do you want from me, brats? At last, I found you. You are Kengo Maimura, aren't you? Huh? Do you remember me? You helped me when I dropped my wallet three years ago. I'm Mari Nichinose. Uh, oh, you were that girl. It's been a while. I've been searching for you all the time. Me? Why? I want to thank you. That's why. Would you come with me? Ugh. Three years have passed since the last time I shaved. It's been a while since I last saw my face. I can't believe it's me. After I took a shower at the hotel, I went to the lounge where they were waiting. Um, sorry to have kept you wait. You look fresh. What a good looking guy. Those sitting in front of me are Marian-chan and her family. They were with Marian-chan at the park and they booked a hotel for me when they saw me since I was worn out. Thank you so much for doing all of these for me. I'm the one who should thank you. Three years ago, you helped my daughter and I'm really thankful for that. You're welcome. I just couldn't leave her alone at the Dangerous Entertainment District. I'm glad that she went home safely. We've been waiting for hours, but she didn't come back and we couldn't contact her. We were worried sick that night. We have never allowed her to go out at night until that time. Marin-chan was an elementary student at that time, wasn't she? Elementary school? No! I was in my third year of junior high school. I'm 18 years old now. What? what? She doesn't look mature, isn't she? Stop teasing me, Mom. Anyway, we're not here to have this kind of conversation. I want to show you a token of my appreciation, Kengo-san. I was wondering about what you mean by your token of appreciation. Marin, let me explain. I'll tell you straight away. Kengo Maimura-san, would you work at our company? Huh? We are managing a private security firm. Recently, we are looking to recruit SP for a person. We would like you to take that job. Your salary will be 500,000 yen every month. You can stay at the company dormitory and will get bonus plus salary raise. I just can't let the person who saved my daughter's life living in a park what do you think? I don't think that it's a bad offer for you. Uh... I really appreciate that, but I don't think I can take the job. What? Why? Could you tell us the reason why? I've been working as a temporary worker of physical labor until now, but I can't do my job properly at any field. My supervisor and senior co-workers called me useless. That's why, if you let a useless person like me to work for you, I'll be making a lot of mistakes and disappoint you. My Mura-san, I was overwhelmed by that good personality of yours. If I were in your shoes, I'll just take the offer without looking back. I was touched to see how you care for other people than yourself. Please, I'd like you to help us. Please help us. Oh. In the end, I wasn't able to refuse. I ended up working at Marianjan's father's company. Then, my first day to work came. I can't believe that I could manage to go back to the society. I wonder if I'm capable to do it. Additionally, the person I'm responsible to guard is... Kengo-san! Good morning! It's Marian-chan! As you may have known, 
Marion is a clumsy girl. When we're not watching her, she always does something unexpected. Since me and my wife have to manage our company, we can't be with her all the time. That's why we want you to be by her side. You're the only one who can protect her from troubles. I wonder if I can handle this work since the responsibility is quite heavy. Well then, let's go to school, Kengo-san. Oh, okay. Here I am, working as Marin-chan's SP. Marin-chan is still a clumsy girl and she has made me scare with her behaviors only in a day. There were also things that could lead into big problem happened. Um... That's not a school bus! Oh! Look in front of you! I think this is the hardest physical labor I've ever done! Kango-san! Here you go! Huh? What's this? Tropical banana juice! The sweet stall has it on sale! I can't have you treat me! How much was it? Never mind about that! You've done a good work today, haven't you? I think you did a great job! Oh! Well, I've been doing a lot of clumsy things today. It's my first time to have someone thankful for what I've done. Until now, I was scolded and looked down by those people around me. I understood, but next time I'll buy it for you. Yes! Oh, it's sweet! This is tasty! Yeah, you're right. It's been a while since the last time I drank juice. Thanks, Marin-chan. It's tasty. <laughs> it looks as if we were on a date. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. But I'm glad that I was able to meet you again. Huh? At that time, I was so scared that I didn't know what to do. Then, suddenly, you appeared. So, you were my prince on a white horse. I just can't forget you who helped me although I was a stranger to you. That's why I'm so happy that I'm able to talk with you like this. Marin-chan, I'm not the prince on a white horse like you said. At the time I talked to you, I got fired from my job and I had nothing but 7,000 yen left. I was a pathetic man. To be honest, when I handed you the money, I had the feeling deep inside my heart that I wanted to escape from the society. It wasn't a 100% good intention. Anyway, sorry for starting the gloomy talk. Let's go home. I'll throw away your cup. Despite that... Huh? Despite that, I was saved by your kindness. I'm in love with you, Kango-san. Would you be my boyfriend? Boyf- <laughs> What? I don't think it's fine because of our difference at age. You can wait until I graduate from high school. I don't think your father would allow that. You don't have to worry about that. My father spoils me, so he'll listen to whatever I say. Whatever she says, I can imagine that though. This job and Marin's behavior of not knowing the common senses, I think that her parents treasure her. Very different from me. You're Miss Marin, aren't you? Who are you? <laughs> At last I found you. Miss Marin, your father's company has caused our company to go bankrupt. Each company has strict security systems, so we can't break through. I'm sorry for you, but you need to become our hostage. I think that they are kidnappers. I see. So, this is why Marin Chan needs SB. She needs to be protected from this kind of guys. I won't let you touch her. Back off. Huh? Are you her bodyguard? Stay away from us, huh? You, you are the one who worked as temporary worker. Huh? You're right. He's the useless guy who got fired. Why are you wearing suits? That doesn't suit you at all. Beyond my expectation, my ex-supervisor and ex-senior co-worker are here. Wh why are you here? We've lost our job due to the economic recession. To make a quick money, we decided to do those works from the nasty business field. Kango-san, do you know them? A little bit. Miss, it seems that your father doesn't know how to recruit good people. This guy isn't capable to do his job properly. It's a piece of cake if he's our opponent. All of you, we're going to kidnap Miss Marin! Ah! I told you that I won't let you touch her! Didn't you hear me? What? 
He was able to get rid of those people in an instant. What's going on? Are you really that spastic guy? I know that I'm not a fast learner, but I have confidence in my strength. I've been keeping this as a secret, but I have never lost a fight since a long time ago. Maybe it's because my drunken father was educating me with his fists. I didn't expect that I'm using that ability this way. When I was a high school student, I was helping my friend who was bullied by the Yankees. Since I managed to beat all of them down, I was expelled from my school. Since my father was expecting me to work and give him money, he got angry and I was kicked out from home. I've been hiding these fists of mine since they've ruined my life, but I have no choice than to use them in order to protect Marianshan. Well then, are you prepared? But wait, we were wrong. We taught you everything about work, so you should release us. I don't pity those who made Marianshan scared. Yikes. Marianshan, are you okay? Y yes I'm fine. Glad to hear that. Huh? What's wrong? Kengo-san, can you just forget what I said about being my boyfriend? Huh? Seems like I've scared her. It's obvious anyway. No one wants to get close to me after seeing such scene. I don't want you to be my boyfriend, but... Please, marry me! What? You were awesome back there, Kengo-san! You have helped me twice! You really are my prince on a white horse! I love you so much, Kengo-san! Wait, Marijan, calm down! When he arrives home, I'll ask my father to get me the marriage documents. No, you are still underage, you know that? We just have to submit it after I graduated from high school. Uh, it seems that I made her fall in love deeper with me. After that, my works were approved and I managed to get the role of special security leader. It's unbelievable since I was told that I'm useless at work until now. Then, time passed. Here you go, Kengo-san. Please, eat it. Thanks, Marin-chan. Looks tasty. Let's eat. I started a relationship with Marin-chan before we get married. Since I got lost to her everyday approach, I've decided to live together with her after she graduated from high school. After being in a relationship for two years, I proposed to her. Next month, we'll be having our wedding ceremony. Until several years ago, I have lost my self-confidence. But... One good thing I did was turn my future into a bright future. I want to treasure my lucky days together with Marian-chan from now on.